Hey YouTubers, it's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. And today we're going to talk about patch panels. Now in this case we're going to be talking about a three-dimensional staggered unshielded patch panel, which is very special in its own way. But first, let's kind of talk about patch panels in general. What exactly are they and what do they do? As you can see, Ethernet cable is bundled and organized, and then it's coming into the back of a frame. And that frame, in this particular case, is a thing that's mounted to a rack, or maybe to a, a rack unit that's mounted on your wall in your home. And what's happening is that that unit is literally organizing all of your Ethernet cable runs into one spot otherwise known as the, the head end of your installation, so to speak. The idea is to keep it centralized and out of the way, maybe in a basement, maybe in a closet, something along those lines. Using patch panels also encourages the proper termination of Ethernet. We have been very much stressing IDC style terminations, IB keystone jacks, field term plugs, things like that, but in this case, specifically keystone jacks. When you terminate Ethernet, you're gonna get your best performance when you go to, from keystone to keystone. Well, a toolless, Keystone patch panel helps facilitate just that sort of thing. So let's get into some unboxing here and I'll show you what comes with our three-dimensionally staggered unshielded patch panel and why it's so special. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna see when you open up your box here is we have 24 nylon ties for securing cable to your patch panel. We'll talk about that in a moment. And then you're gonna notice a cable manager bar. And this bar is metal, and it's used for securing your individual cable runs. And you can either do that with the nylon ties or with Velcro straps in these slots. And so this just simply snaps into the rear of the patch panel frame itself. The next thing you'll notice is pretty detailed instructions about how to terminate cabling and then secure it. And then finally, you'll have the actual panel. So this panel is 19 inches wide. So 19 inches wide, meant for 19 inch racks, or you can also mount it into a wall mount where it's like a bracket, or you can use like a wall mount residential rack. The important thing is to make sure that you have eight inches of rack depth to work with. If you have less than eight inches, it's gonna be very difficult to organize your cables properly into the panel and you have 24 ports, you have four mounting points. This particular patch panel does not come with any mounting hardware. The reason being that it's all different from rack to rack. One thing you're gonna take notice of right away is that the ports are spaced in a three-dimensional pattern. Now, let's talk a little bit about category and speed and where this can benefit you. So if you take a look at the little graphic on your screen, you're gonna notice that this particular patch panel is not designed for shielded runs. This will not bond your cable shields to ground, therefore you should not use shielded keystones or shielded ethernet with this patch panel. Now what this patch panel does is it takes your unshielded ethernet cable and keystones and allows you to run even 10 gigabit networking with CAT6A or CAT6 at shorter lengths without incurring what's known as annexed or alien crosstalk. And so if you were to imagine a keystone jack operating at like 500 megahertz pushing 10 gigabit, it's gonna have a, a pretty decent sized electromagnetic bubble around it because it's just putting off more energy. Now this isn't really a problem with CAT5E running at even up to 2.5 gigabit, but it can start becoming a problem with CAT6 running at five gigabit or CAT6 running at 10 gigabit, or CAT6A running at 10 gigabit. So this panel three-dimensionally staggers and offsets so that it suppresses the alien crosstalk that can occur at a patch panel. And that's critically important for unshielded networks, which most Ethernet installations are unshielded, but a mistake that a lot of people make is they use the traditional punch down panels or the straight across style, and that causes what's known as alien crosstalk at the panel and you start having very unusual communication errors and issues that are very difficult to run down. So this particular patch panel has been laboratory designed and scientifically designed to suppress alien crosstalk. And that's, that's something that's very difficult to even figure out if you've got the, an issue with it in the field unless you've got a, 
like a Fluke DSX-8000 certifier, for example. So rather than have the problem and find out, why not eliminate the problem right off the bat? And this patch panel is just the right thing for unshielded cabling operating at high bandwidth. So why don't we get into installing this panel and we'll show you how it all works. Be right back. <laughs> 